This right here was a short film made by me using AI tools. I will take you behind the scenes of this same project and show you how to use AI tools to not only come up with a story but actually bring it to life. So in this video I will show you step-by-step -step process to create AI-powered films. So watch this video till the end without skipping any of the step. Welcome to AI Upskill. Let me first explain you all how we are going to create a movie. We will use ChatGPT to create the story. Then this story will be used by an AI tool to create images. Then finally the generated images will be used by an, another AI tool to create videos. Now you guys must be thinking, why are we doing an extra step by generating images, rather than generating videos directly with the story? This is because as of now there is no perfect AI tool to create text to videos directly. I hope you guys have understood the process. Now let's get into the video. First we will create story for our film, which will be the script. To create that we are going to use ChatGPT. I have created a prompt that you can use to generate the script. It will be in the description of this video. I'm instructing ChatGPT to create keywords describing the main character and break the story into small shots with keywords. You have to just replace the story synopsis with your own. Also, you can change the prompt as per your needs by adding new dialogues and new shots. As you can see, ChatGPT generates the full story. We are generating keywords because we need to turn the story into visuals by an image generation tool. At last, we will also instruct ChatGPT to provide us the sound effects for our film. As you can see, ChatGPT provides us the recommended sound effects for each shot. This makes our work more easier during downloading sound effects and in editing. All right, our story is ready. If you're familiar with generative AI, you've probably heard of Leonardo AI. In my opinion, it's the best image generation tool available right now. Once you are in Leonardo AI dashboard, click on image generation. As you can see, before making this video, I have generated and tried a couple of times by my own. Copy the main character keywords from ChatGPT and paste it into this box. From the left control panel, click on preset and make sure it's cinematic kino. Click on advanced settings and choose Leonardo lightning model and enable the negative prompt button. I'm adding some negative prompts such as worst, low quality, extra limbs, and many more. After this, make sure the aspect ratio is 16 by nine. And finally click on generate button. Let's fast forward this process and see our character image is done. We have to do this process for all the shots generated by ChatGPT, for example. Copy the story of shot one from ChatGPT and paste it into Leonardo. Then copy the keywords of shot one and paste it into Leonardo. And at last, copy the main character keywords and paste it into the same box. And click generate button. Repeat this process until your last shot is completed. Also, we are pasting character keywords on each shot. Because to get consistent character with his or her clothes. Because of this, I'm getting red hoodie, hiking boots, and backpack in my generations which appear as consistent in our movie. From the four generated image, download any one of them, and save it as per your shot name. Arrange your images in a folder, as I have done. So I spent quite a while trying out different AI tools to animate these images. I tried Leonardo Generate Motion, but it was a 50-50 tool, as sometimes it provides outstanding results and sometimes provides shitty results. Another tool that caught my attention and has been gaining popularity lately is Pika Labs, but the results I got were nowhere near what I wanted for my movie. Last option I tried was Gen 2 from Runway. Here's a comparison of all the three tools that I tried, and I decided to go with this tool as it has powerful AI filmmaking tools. Now we will generate videos using those images, but before that, I just noticed 95% of you guys haven't subscribed my channel, so please give this video a like and subscribe for more such videos. Head to Runway AI. Once you are on this dashboard after login, scroll down and click image to video. Upload the image here, generated by Leonardo AI. After uploading is done, click on the fourth option, which is motion brush, which allows you to apply motion controls to specific areas. From the bottom left, select the motion value. The higher the number is, the higher is the motion in our video. Lastly, click on generate and wait until it's done. When it's completed, simply click on the download button to download it. Keep in mind that sometimes you will get great results on the very first try, while other times you might need to adjust the settings and generate again until you're satisfied with the outcome. You have to do this process for all the images generated by Leonardo AI. Arrange your videos in a folder, as I have. Now to download the recommended sound effects by ChatGPT, we will use Pixabay, as it is free. Copy the sound effects of shot one from ChatGPT and paste it into this box. As you can see, it provides us multiple sound effects. You can even listen to them and can easily download them without signing up. Keep in mind that you have to download the sound effects for each shot. Now you might be thinking we're pretty much done here, but in my opinion, the next step is where you guys can really get creative and make your project stand out by editing the final video. I'm going to show you a quick breakdown of my editing project. I will provide you guys some tips rather than showing the full editing process. 
The editing is all about adjusting and mixing your sound effects with the clips. I have given fade in and fade out transition to most of my shot. Also, I have only added sound effects that were recommended by ChatGPT. However, if you want any other sound effect, you can go through the audio section in CapCut. I would add an adjustment layer in which I will set the vignette between 10 to 15. Lastly, to get rid of the Runway AI watermark, you can add your channel logo or a text to cover it. And done, here's the preview of the film. See how we created a short movie using AI tools completely for free. If you make something cool using these tools, please share it to the world and make sure you tag me. If you got questions or ideas for what I should cover next, drop them in the comments below. If you loved this video, please give it a like and subscribe to AI Upskill channel for more such AI related content in the upcoming days. I will see you in the next video.